My name is Ntui Oben Obi Agbo from Cameroon. My team members were Boris Kalo Patata, Nango Simon Elive, Elvira Munju Ambua Mundua, Tata Isaac Antumbo Emmanuel, as well as Esuel Lucas Jr. Our project was about the dangers of drug abuse. The reason why we selected this project was because we noticed there was a drastic increase in drug abuse and school dropout in Mokwai community. The people we met shared their reasons for abusing drugs while others expressed their desire to quit drugs. On our part, we educated them on the dangers of drug abuse. We were impressed when authorities called us to know about our project. We plan to meet these authorities in the days ahead to give them the information we gathered in the field as far as drug abuse is concerned. We equally plan to develop a mentorship program to keep young people away from drug abuse. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ibrahim Fayulullah Osman from Kumasi, Ghana. Our street dialogue project was on democracy. We went on the street of Kumasi to ask young people what they think about democracy. We were very delighted to see young people coming up to express themselves on the issues of democracy. Since 1957, when Ghana gained independence, democracy has been toppling up and down. There were a series of coup d'etats before the nation returned to democracy in 1992. So most of the young people who we spoke with said they don't believe in democracy. When we asked them what is their reason, they told us corruption, lack of justice, and many more. And most of them even think that democracy is not the best form of governance. Probably they think we should try other forms of governance for us to see if we will really find what we are looking for. But most of them do not agree that democracy is the best form of governance. And then they also cited how politicians try and find their way and break the law without answering while the ordinary citizens are not respected. That is equality before the law. Thank you very much. Hello, all as we say in Indian Namaste. I am Jesse. My team members of the Street Dialogue Project are Asif, Naji, and Hanna. My team's project was about creating dialogue on Indian community, normalize the conversations on the level, awareness on psychosocial support, and create a replicable model for hosting dialogues on Indian community around the major objectives of the project. The Street Dialogue takes place in September 1 at Calicut Beach in Kerala, the southern state of India. Around 200 plus people from various parts of life are in the dialogue. Our team believes that it is really important to break the stereotype of the level. Creating dialogue is one of the most effective ways to do so. We look forward to creating a document detailing how we did it and make it available for the public so that anyone from India or from any other countries can simply get the same. Let's break the stereotype and start talking. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jumra Ahmad from Indonesia. My team member are Andrew Tenrigula and Muspiran Moro. My team's project was about sexual harassment and violence. We chose this topic because Indonesia has a high pride of sexual harassment and violence. We meet at least 50 people and dominant as group for young and adults at Say Yusuf Scar in Goa, Indonesia. People who met say how their issues is very bad but does not become a big spoiler in society due to the lack of public sensitivity regarding this issue because the stigma in society see this is a mistake directed at women only. And the most impressive things to me was the refuse to incorporate sex and gender education curriculum in Indonesia as a major preventive pressure. We plan to be more actively forcing the image of violence and sexual harassment to our community and social, especially for yet. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, I'm Francisco Ledesma Cardenas from Mexico. My team's member are Montserrat Velasquez and Miguel Angel Gonzalez. My team's project was about human rights and access to justice local action. We chose this project because in Mexico, there are many human rights violations are committed by the authorities who are supposed to protect sites. Today, there are more than 100,000 people missing for criminals against humanity. We met 74 people among teens and older adults at Tele Secondary and the Main Avenue. People were met share his experience of missing family members about the situation and the great disability that exists in Mexico, the corruption and abuses of authority. And the most impressive thing to me was that the children was a reflection on the fact that there are people who think differently and respect even if 
they were engaged abortion or sexual orientation other than social and hegemonic. We plan to take this project to various rural and indigenous communities where children and the adolescents can now and assert these rights, stop the domestic violence that many suffer and that they can access justice so that violence, gender inequality, discrimination, stopping, normalize. Thank you. Hi, I am Marbella Reyes from Mexico. My team members are Moses Nieves and Andres Ekiel. My team's project was about inclusive education and GCD. We chose this topic because we know that quality education in Mexico and several countries are not accessible and inclusive. And topics about GCD are not taught in all the schools. That means that students and young people cannot access the opportunity to improve their life condition for themselves and their community. We meet more than 100 students, young people and adults at the city of Cotitlán, Iscali at the park. People we meet share their opinions about quality education, inclusive education and the preparation of teachers, students and parents. And the most impressive thing to me was that young people were interested in learning but also in preparing themselves and being part of the inclusion and educational improvement in an active way. We plan to continue sharing topics about education, inclusion, and global citizenship in schools and help a hackathon where students and young people can learn and generate ideas and projects to improve their communities. Thank you! Hi, my name is Adira Zahan and I'm from Pakistan. My team members are Ikra Amjad, Adiba Ami, and Ahmed My team's project was about SDGs awareness, especially climate change and gender equality among people that are most affected by these issues in my town of Malta. We choose this topic because we, as ourselves, are being suffering from the same climate issues and gender inequality. Not only in my town, but uh, this is this issue this is across Pakistan. People we met share their experiences around climate change and gender equality. The most impressive thing to me was getting feedback from people where they even speak about that how these global issues can be solved by the efforts in the local We are planning to continue these our street interaction community members and people because it's our first experience in this big activity and we got a good feedback back. Thank you. Hello everyone, so I'm Isabella Balixi and I'm from the Philippines. So uh, my team members are Jillian, Nika, and Kurt. My team's project is about gender equality and SOGI. So we chose this topic because there is a lack of gender recognition when it comes to LGBTQIA plus community here in the Philippines. So we met around 100 to 250 people here in Las Marias Cavite. And the people we met shared um, that we shouldn't feel different and that we should accept each other because at the end of the day it all boils down to the saying that we are all just humans. So we plan to introduce um, our street dialogue projects to different communities here in the Philippines. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Giovanni Henry from the Caribbean island of St. Lucia. My team members are McAllister, Sindel, and myself. Our project was about how as citizens we can concretely change the world. And we chose this topic as it was important to hear from people in such a small island on how they could have a positive global impact. We met approximately 55 people at the Makoti Mangrove Park in St. Lucia. And the people we met shared various views, for example, on how, what if, for instance, children can be seen as a catalyst of positive change if we teach them the right values from an early age? And one of the most impressive things was how this dialogue led to discussions on other topics, particularly topics which often cause division in our society, such as religion and nationality. For example, the question which came was, what if we all had one nationality? Would we have a more peaceful world? We plan to host larger scale dialogue in December during our National Day celebrations and there is renewed interest from local media in this new street dialogue concept. Thank you. Hello, my name is Selin and I'm from Turkey. My teammates are Seran, Alcin and Selin. My team's project was about education and how we define the quality of a good education. Uh, the elements of a good education. We choose this topic because after all we want to define the basis of a good education uh, to build up future plans. Uh, we met 100 plus people and from the age 20 to 60 at our local park, Kalamish Park. 
and people uh, we met shared their children's education uh, studies and mentioned their personal opinion and the most impressive thing uh, to me was one of the participants saying that education is starting from home and I believe their opinion is right and also we let participants to draw their ideas into a big canvas and results was really impressive we plan to make their drawings a big picture and share it on social media to gain more uh, people opinions attract more people also want to continue to work on transformative and quality education thank you